What is good guys? It is now Thursday. We're back at it again. It is actually Thursday evening. It wasn't really an overly exciting day. Um, ran a lot of errands and didn't have much fun stuff to do. We were just doing a lot of cleaning, kind of buttoning things up. But while I was out running errands, Beth was working with King. So I figured that'd be a little bit more of something exciting just for a short vlog today. So we have actually, since um, going to get King, we decided that we really wanted to make sure that we could get a dog that we could train that would be able to do the things that um, we want him to do as, follow, as far as following commands and um, just overall having him trained to be a very good dog. So that is something that we set out to do from the start and Beth has been working diligently um, in almost the week that we've had him now. And um, so I wanna show you guys the progress that we've made now, a reminder that whenever we got King, he wasn't very good on a leash. In like two days, we had him walking on a leash comfortably, um, no pulling, no issues. And he didn't really have any commands that he knew. He knew how to sit, but he didn't really follow it as like a command. He just kind of, it was something that he did. So in a week, we've taught him all of, or Beth has honestly taught him all of these commands. Um, he listens pretty well to me as well after working with her, but, uh, Without further ado, let's jump into seeing what King has learned. There you go. King shake. Ah, uh, King shake. Good boy. Good boy. Good shake. Down. Down. Good boy. Good boy. Down. Good boy. Good boy. Ready? King come. Sit. Good boy. Jump one. Good boy. That's a good boy. Damn. Thank you. Good boy. So for those of you that don't know kind of how um, we have trained him or based on just watching Beth, um, we have taught King not only to listen based off of the word and like the trigger word that we have. So sit, um, lay down is just down, um, come to get him to come to you and then shake. So we have trigger words, but we also have um, trigger motions to go along with the words. So I will have Beth show it again, just so you guys can pay attention to the uh, motions to go along with the words from what she's saying to what she's doing. Good boy. Good boy. So from that video, you guys can tell, so we didn't even have to use the trigger words because we have associated the word and the motion as well as the snap um, all together. So whenever we do either the word or the motion, King still follows along. So I am extremely pleased with how well he's doing after he's only been really training the trigger words and the trigger motions for about two days now. And um, he has came along really quickly and we're working on getting him to kind of still follow the name as well as just those different trigger words. But from what you guys just saw, he is extremely quick to pick up on everything. So I'll keep you guys updated on the progress as we continue. But so far for a one year old dog and for only really being trained on him for about two days, he is picking it up like it's nothing. So, but I don't really have too much else. We might do a little bit of other stuff this evening, just kind of finish picking up. But tomorrow, um, we are going, or I'm going to get TJ. So TJ will be up here for the weekend to hang out. We have some exciting things planned for over the weekend with our family and um, just doing different things. And we'll continue to incorporate King and Beth and keep an eye on his progress. So I will, um, if there's anything else that, exciting that happens tonight, I'll drop that in here as well. But. I will see you guys tomorrow, and we will jump into an exciting weekend. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and keep on watching each day with us.